Can this current real estate market continue on the seller's pace that it's currently going? Are we going to see a crash like 2008? Has the spring market already occurred? Hi, I'm Tom Daves with eXp Realty and I'm here with my partner, Lindsay Carlisle. Hi, Lindsay. How are you? I'm excellent, Tom. How are you? Great. So let's take a look at the stats of what's happening in our current market. Inventory is extremely low. And as you can see on the light green, that indicates that there are currently only 1138 homes currently on the market, which is about half of what it was a year ago at 2350 homes. If we take a look at the dark green, which indicates the homes that are sold and closed right now, currently last month, we had 2,284 homes closed as compared to 1,874, which is about a 20% increase. And then if we take a look at the homes that are pending, we have 1,765 homes went pending last month as compared to 1,340 seven, which is about a 25% increase. Now bear in mind, this is the Sacramento Placer and County area, and we're seeing an increase in volume significantly. So let's take a look at this next chart. It's the average price per square foot. Homes have sold on average $278 per square foot and prices have risen five to 10% in the last year, depending upon the county. And this is the average list to sale price ratio, which is 100%. Bear in mind, 23% of the homes that are selling are selling with multiple offers. And you can see they are selling in 21 days on average. Now, one other statistic to bear in mind, when half of the sales that went into contract went into contract in 10 days or less. And then we take a look at the month's worth of inventory. We have less than a half of a month's worth of inventory. So bear in mind, anything less than three months is a seller's market. Four and five is a neutral market. And anything over five or six is a buyer's market. So we're really seeing a super hot market. It's just crazy how things are going. So why do you think this market is so hot right now? What's happening? Uh, I think there's many things to consider. Gosh, last year in March, do you remember? I don't think anybody predicted that the market would be the way it is today. Most economists have predicted that our housing market would tank once the pandemic happened, but we've seen the quite opposite actually happen. I know. Crazy. And I think there's many reasons to that. I'm sure you can attest to that as well. I think the biggest thing is people value home more than they ever have. Mm -hmm. So people are spending more time at home. Um, they're working from home. They're teaching their kids at home. They're entertaining at home. Everything centers around home. And people are now kind of realizing where their home might be lacking. So the desire also to have a bigger home or have more amenities is also dr a driving factor. And then with interest rates at an all time low, I know we keep hearing that over and over again, um, but housing is more affordable than it's been, shockingly, even with prices rising. And then the third thing would be our low inventory. As you already stated, Tom, uh, we saw less than half the amount of inventory this December than we saw in December of 2019. And we saw um, purchases rise by over 31%, which is pretty astonishing. So, and I think also a reason we're seeing less inventory is um, there are people who are scared. They're scared to let this um, sickness into their home. They're uncertain in what's gonna happen with our economy, with our future. And then people are refinancing to all-time low interest rates. So they're dropping their payment and then they see prices skyrocketing. And so they're just holding tight and um, staying longer in their homes than they ever have. I think we're seeing people on average or homeowners on average staying in their homes for over 12 years, which is also another all-time high. I know it's just crazy how things are and Sacramento has been named the number one hottest market in the country based on realtor.com. So you may be asking yourself, should I wait until spring 
before I put my home on the market? Well, to be honest with you, I believe spring has already occurred in the real estate market. Right now, what we know is inventory is extremely low and it all goes back to supply and demand. When the demand is high and the supply is low, that is always the best time to put your home on the market. So if you have any questions, give us a call or just go to TomDaves.com. Thank you.